Hi everyone, it's Miss Rachel from Neal Public Library and welcome to Storytime. We're so glad you're here with us today. We have some more great books to share with you all, so let's get started by getting our hands out and we'll sing our welcome song. I have 10 little thinkers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things, would you like to see? I can put them up high. I can put them down low. I can make them disappear, just like so. I can wiggle my fingers and I can give them six claps. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can fold them together and put them right in my lap. Our hands are in our lap. Our readers are ready for our first story today. And it's a funny one by Janet Morgan Stoke. And it's called, there, let me get it right. A Hat for Minerva Louise. I wonder what kind of hat she will find. There's our words again. A hat for Minerva Louise. What is Minerva Louise? What kind of animal is she? That's right. She's a chicken or a hen. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. Do you love snowy mornings? Her friends didn't like them one bit. There's her friends. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go out. She couldn't wait to go out exploring. Everything was so beautiful. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, she said, I could stay out and play. She's talking to the scarecrow. A scarf might help. But not this one. It was way too big. And these shoes are too big too. Are those shoes? What are they? That's right, they're gloves. A hat? That's just what I need. But not this one, and not this one either. It's too heavy. There must be a hat around here somewhere. Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had on a fluffy white hat. Do you see the fluffy white hat? Oh, your hat is wonderful. Where did you get it? Oh, look, what's over here? A hat, it's perfect. But what's this? Oh, it's two hats. which was just fine with Minerva Louise. Where is she wearing her hats? <laughs> oh, 
All right, friends, we can sing a song about a hat, and I have a hat with me today, but you don't, if you don't have a hat, that's fine, or if you want, you can go and grab one. If you do not have a hat, you can just make one with your hands, okay? So our song goes like this. I'm gonna put my hat on. And it goes, on my head I wear a hat, it is such a silly hat that my head wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Hmm, where else can my silly hat go? Well, how about right here? What's this? We can put it on our elbow. That's right. On my elbow, I wear my hat. It is such a silly hat that my elbow wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where else can our hat go? How about right here? What's this? All right, let's put our hat on our shoulder and we'll sing. On my shoulder I wear my hat. It is such a silly hat that my shoulder wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? How about on our hands? And we'll sing. On my hands I wear my hat. It is such a quiet hat that my hands don't wiggle. They just go clap. Can you clap your hands inside your hat? Then I fold them in my lap. All right, friends, our hands are in our lap. That means our readers are ready so we can read our next story. And it's not about a hat. What is it about? Minerva used it as a hat. It's called One Mitten by Christine O'Connell George. Pictures by Maggie Smith. There's our One Mitten. Can you find the mitten? One mitten. One mitten, yellow and bright, fits on my left hand. Or on my right. One mitten can wave a mitten hello. Can you wave hello? Hello. One mitten can make a shadow show. What does that look like? With shadow shapes of a mitten whale and a slow, slow mitten snail. One mitten is a hat for a rooster's head or a very small mitten bag bed. One mitten is a mitten flag. Hold still, Daisy. Wag, Daisy, wag. One mitten gives my sleepy cat a kitten soft one mitten pat. And under the cat, some yellow fuzz. Hmm. My other mitten. So that's where it was. Who had the other mitten? Two mittens can clap. Flap mitten wings. Make mitten ears. Lots of two mitten things.
two mittens, windshield white, the frosty glass. It's snowing outside, covering up the grass. Two mittens can make binocular eyes. Can you make binocular eyes? Two mittens wave mitten goodbyes. Then one mitten, yellow and bright, holds my friend's hand warm and tight. Two friends with mittens, we're ready to go, skipping mitten warm into the snow. And that's the end. I hope you're able to get outside in the snow and enjoy the beautiful weather too. All right, friends, it's time for us to say goodbye. So let's get our hands out and we'll sing Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, goodbye, friends. We'll see you next time.